basically have about an hour, a little less than an hour actually, to kill before I go to my cousin's house and have supper, play games. Nat and I are both going. It should be fun. I <laughs> I've been meaning to be more social for a while. Natalie and I have talked about this multiple times because we both struggle with this. Because we work and put so much energy into being not just pleasant to be around, but also enjoyable to be around with our respective jobs we <laughs> lose most of the energy that we could have for socializing with more extroverted people before we even leave work. And it's interesting because I am very introverted, but I am able to adapt and be around people that I don't know and that's fine. Natalie is more extroverted than I am, but definitely is not, like, all the time needs to be around people. In the same way that some of my friends from college might have been. And so, coming from two different points of view, like, I don't work with very many people, but I work in a job where I interact with strangers every day. And then Natalie works in a restaurant, so she interacts with strangers all day, every day, and loves people, but needs to be around people that she knows and trusts. It's hard to <laughs> then approach a situation like we're going to have tonight, where we not only are engaging with people and having a good time you know, eating a meal, talking, playing games. We're also doing that with the expectation that we need to be on all the time, I think. Because <laughs> I think it depends on what part of my family it is, but there are certain family members where you could be hanging out with them but not really engaging a conversation, not really doing anything with them, and it's fine. And then there are other family members where you kind of need to be in conversation or doing something with them the whole time you're together. And those are the people that we're spending time with tonight. And that's fine. I really love my family and I'm excited to do this. But it also <laughs> usually means that I have to kind of prepare myself mentally and physically, honestly, to be in a situation like that especially for more than a couple of hours. So that's where my brain's at right now, is just <laughs> processing ahead of time what level of exhaustion I'm, I'm about to feel. I'm gonna have a good time. I always do when I go over to their house, but acknowledging to myself ahead of time that the reason why I don't do this very often is because I get so worn out I think is fair and also quite valid. <laughs> and also, in the meantime, it is a work night, so that's always a little bit on my mind as well. Even though I stayed up really late last night, way too late, editing the first draft of the Barely Millennials video, which definitely needs some work in order to be completely watchable, but I'm really excited about it, and it's looking great. And I'm really excited to see what I can do to make it look cool. Because that's the whole goal here. So we'll see how well all of that works out.